Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another C++ uh, lesson. And today we're just going to go over the math library. And we're just going to work a little bit with it. I'm going to do some, some like free coding. There's not going to be uh, like a problem to do with this one. It's just going to be some free coding to show you, show you guys how I handle stuff. And hopefully you'll follow along and try stuff like this. And this will actually make you better at coding if you try stuff like this. So... I've already got some of the templates set up, so we need to do our, our main function here, and we'll get our brackets, and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do our return zero. And we'll just go ahead, and so for this one, we're gonna need a couple variables, and I'm gonna do doubles for all of these. So I'm gonna do a double, and we're just gonna do, uh, I don't know, like a square root. That, that'll initialize our variable. We'll do a double um, log. That'll initialize that variable. We'll do a double log 10. And then we will do a double exponent. And so th in this one, we're just going to go over the math library, which is very handy for doing this, especially if you uh, are going to be handling a lot of uh, math functions and like accounting and stuff like that uh, you can really handle a lot of file sizes and you know do some heavy number crunching which is a you know a lot of what programming is used for a lot of stuff is done by numbers random number generating stuff like that so we'll just see how I handle this I'm gonna do some free coding and go over what I'm doing and uh, we'll see how it turns out so I'm gonna show you how to do comments. To do a comment, you just do a double uh, backslash, and we're just gonna say, um, let's see, ask for number to be, and we'll just do square root, and that's a comment, and it's very nice if you would comment your work, especially if someone's gonna go behind you, and that way you don't lose what you're doing. That way you don't have to read through all your code. You can just look for a comment. And be like, oh, okay, well, this is what this is doing, and it's handling this. So comments is a very good practice to get into, especially if you're working on a team or if you're doing a heavy project that's, you know, hundreds of thousands or just hundreds, you know, lines or thousands of lines. And it's very nice to have comments. So we're just going to ask for a square root number. So we're going to do C out, um, you know, enter a number to get the square root. Okay, so we got that. And I'm just gonna do the indel because that's what I like to do. You can do the forward slash in. So we're gonna do cn, and then you're just gonna do the name of your function, or the name of your variable, square root. So we'll do another comment. We're gonna do ask for log. So you do c out. And we'll just do enter a number to get the log. And I know the grammar is not super great, but it's whatever. We're just doing coding. Who needs grammar? Do CN, we'll just do log. Then we're going to do ask for log 10. And so you're going to do C out. And we're going to do enter a number to get log 10 of. We'll do the indel. CN, and then we're going to do log 10, which is the name of our variable, and then we will do, um, <coughs> so there, there's that, and so we'll do another one, we'll do ask for exponent, and you can do this different ways, it doesn't matter, and so you can do CN, and we're just going to, or C out, I'm sorry, C out. We'll do enter a number. It's a telephone. See, so enter a number to get exponent up. I'm sorry for the telephone. I'm not going to answer it. Do indel. We'll do cn and exponent. Okay. So that right there handles all of our input that we need from the user. And so the next thing we're going to do is we need to come up with variables.
to actually handle these functions. So we'll just do double and we'll do, uh, you know, some things are reserved, so you need to watch out. Actually, I think log 10 and log are actually, they're uh, used in the library, so we can't actually use those. So that's good, I guess. So we'll just do, uh, for log, we'll sell it like that, <laughs> you know? We'll get real, uh, real wild with it. So we'll do it like that. We'll just go down through here and change these real quick. So there you go, log and log 10, biggity boom. So we actually need more variables to handle the functions themselves. So we'll do double and we'll say X, we'll do double Y, we'll do double Z, and we'll do double W. So we got four. Um, actually the best practice would be to switch these around, but since I'm doing this on the fly, it's really okay. It doesn't really matter. If you was actually doing this for a company, you would sit down and you would kind of do what's called pseudocode or a flowchart, and you come up with your variables and stuff like that beforehand. That way they'd follow a better naming convention. So it's whatever. And you can actually put comments out here so you can do um, square root variable. Same thing here. You can do log variable. Right here you can do log 10 variable. And then here we will do exponent variable. Okay, so that handles all of our variables. So now we actually need to do the functions themselves. So we'll say x is equal to sqrt of square root like that. And we'll do y is equal to, let's see, it's log of log. Pretty nice, right? And then we'll do z is equal to log 10 of log 10. And then we'll do w is equal to exp of exponent. Like so. And so we'll go down here and we're going to do handle some formatting and we'll do set precision and we're going to set it to 4 and then we'll do fixed like so. We'll go down here and we'll just do C out and then we will C out X and L. Then we will C output Y. And if you was doing this, you'd actually tell what's being put out, outputted, but it's fine. Z and L. C out W and L. So let's go ahead and save it. We'll go to our terminal. Since we are doing um, using the MacBook here, we'll do desktop, and there we go. And so we've just got to do G plus plus dash O, and then we do the name of what we want it to be called. So we'll just call it math, and we'll do math.cpp. I think that's the name of our file. Hit enter, and hopefully it works. And boom, there we go. So it compiled. We got some big screen here. So that's for my HTML class. We'll just check it out here. So it's going to enter a number to be square root. So we want. Let's do an easy one, nine. And remember to get the log. We'll do uh, 27. To get the log 10 of, we'll do uh, 76. To get the exponent of, we will use uh, 25. So there we go. And that gives us the output. So we've got three, which is the square root of nine. Then gives us the log of 27. 
the log 10 of 76 and the exponent of 25 which is a bunch and so that's how that's handled that's the math functions and this is just a little like freestyle programming just to show you how quickly it can be done I know it's nothing um, too extravagant but once we go over you know loops and things like that then we'll, we'll do a little bit more of this freestyle programming and come up with our own little problems and we can see some pretty cool stuff get done so thanks for watching um, look forward to more videos I think the next time we're gonna do chapter 4 in the book uh, we'll do a problem for me and go over it and break it down so hopefully this is helping y'all learn some C++ Bye.